Can you name one thing in this photo? Just one thing. PK. Can you name one thing in this photo? Just one thing. And, you know, even bring it closer. Look at it right now. He can't see. You just bring the whole thing over, Mallory. Oh, my gosh. This stresses me out. <laughs> Can you name one thing in this photo? If you're listening to the audio version of this, there is a photo. Can I identify what something is? <laughs> name one thing in this photo. Okay. First of all, I thought you were asking me a question that it would be impossible not to answer. I don't know what I'm looking at here. I'm just looking exactly, at exactly, man, an amorphous blob of stuff, of clutter, of stuff, of excess, of hoarding, of uselessness, of super abundance, of overabundance. We own too much stuff. And this photo is the perfect representation when we have heaped so many possessions into our lives. What happens? We can't even name the things that we own. If you're just listening to the audio version, there's a picture here full of stuff. I'm going to put a link to this specific picture in the show notes so you can see it for yourself if you're not watching the video version of the podcast right now. But my goodness, if you look at this picture, I can't name a single thing in there. Maybe there's some jewelry. I'm not really sure. Although I would just call it trash. Yeah, and look, for, for our listeners, what I'm looking at right now, I mean, you would think that you can identify one thing, right? Like, oh, there's a bed or, or a pillow or a stuffed animal, but there's something which could be possibly construed as a stuffed animal-like thing, but it's not quite clear. I can't even say blanket, bed, desk. I mean, stuff has to sit on something. I can't even say floor. I don't even know what the stuff is on. Yeah, we'd really describe it if we could, folks. Like, yeah. this is what the world looks like without my glasses on. That's how how indescribable it is. This is what the world looks like when you say yes to everything. Ooh. I'm, oh. I am going to accept that into my life. It's a bunch of micro yeses. I'll buy this. I'll take the free good. I'll take the tchotchke. I need this. I'll hold on to this. I can't let go of that because just in case, I'll, I'll hold on to this one because someday I know that it could potentially be useful. And then what happens is it all becomes useless. It becomes an amorphous blob of clutter, of trash, of excess, of anxiety. I look at this picture and I think, oh, how stressed out would I be if this was my home or my living room or my bathroom or my closet, or if this was my garage or my attic, I would want to do something about this immediately because of the internal clutter that it would cause in my everyday well-being. <laughs> it's crazy. I challenge is that you. an optical illusion or do you, do you know who originated this or what it actually is? Well, I, I don't want to ruin it. So in the comments, let us know what you think huh. is in this photo. I'm really curious if you can make out just one thing mm. from this photo. I hope you enjoyed that highlight from the Minimalist Private Podcast. If you did and you'd like to dive deep into full episodes of the Private Podcast, head on over to Patreon. Just click the link down in the description. The Private Podcast keeps our YouTube channel 100% advertisement free because advertisements suck. But if you're not ready for that just yet, head on over to this video on our YouTube channel.